My name's Chris Deavoides from Natural Balance Dog Training. Thanks for tuning in to our very first live streaming session. I uh, would like you to give us a call and call in if you got any questions through the through the session. We're today we're bringing in um, Oscar and Leanne. Oscar's about eight or nine months old. Lab cross Kelpie. Lab, lab cross cattle and uh, so what we're going to talk about today is um, we're first going to start when Oscar comes in we control the introductions not the dogs so we're going to try and keep our dogs calm and not to go over um, and we're going to sit down with Leanne and talk about things and we're going to talk briefly about the concept and then how to introduce your dog how to put in a sit stay and it's building blocks and the fundamentals to get started so without any further ado, we're gonna call them in and get started. I'm gonna stand up because my dogs are a little bit, ex they see the excitement and they wanna get involved. So I'm gonna stand up and just block them so I'm between Leanne coming in and my dogs. Okay. When I go to talk, say hello to Leanne, that's when the dogs start to get excited and wanna get involved. So half my energy's on the dogs, half's on Leanne. Come in Leanne. Have a seat right over here, thanks. Stay ah, back, Murph, sit. He sits, so I move back. Stay, good, yes, that's it, beautiful. Good, ah, Murph, get back in your bed. Sit, ah, get back in your bed. Back, middle, back, sit. Stay ah, stay, good, good. So what we're doing there, guys, is my dogs wanted to get out and say, say hello. We told them no. We're in charge, we say hello first. So we'll look at Oscar, see how excited Oscar is to calm down. So see if you can calm Oscar down. That's it. He's a little eight month old, nine month old puppy. And, and Oscar being excited makes my dogs more excited and challenging to go in and say hello. So you're having trouble sitting him down, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna talk about that in a second. Okay, now when he's there, Leanne, if we let Oscar come and say hello on his terms, yeah. who's in charge? Um, he is. He is. How do you feel now? Do you feel like you're in charge? I'm in charge. No, don't let him say feel like that. Ah, stay. Sit down. Good. Sit. So what I'm going to do just to get it started in a minute, I might take stay. Oscar and I'm going to show you the sit stage rule when you come in. <laughs> See how he's jumping around? <laughs> When you give him the corrections, is he paying attention to you? No, not really. Not really. He thinks, yeah. it's, a, he thinks it's a bit of a game, doesn't yeah. he? And that's better. Now, no, but don't let go of that. See, see yeah. how you went to pet him? Yeah, is that, no. No, because this is really important, guys. Well, even though he started to settle down, his mind was where? Yeah. On the other dogs, yeah. looking like this. Maybe you can see from that angle. But with his mind like that, if you go to pet him, even though he started to sit, his mind is still over there, so you're rewarding the mind to go over there. Okay. So that's good, he's settling down. See, see did you go to cut him again? Yeah, there. But see, you're not looking where his mind no, is. That's what we're gonna teach you. Reward. reward. So we're gonna teach you that. And that's that's the mistake guys make people make all the all the time, guys. So we're gonna show you and break that down really slowly. The other important thing is when you the lead is a great tool when yeah. you first get started. The trick is to have a loose lead. So that if, if he, there he goes, he's settling down. Yeah. If you have a loose lead, who's making the choice to stay there? Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah. But if you tighten the lead like this, you're not letting him make the choice. Mm. And dogs quickly get used to when you start to tighten the lead, they go, where's the other dog? Because yeah. we start to no, sit down, down. Up, sit him down and loose lead. Down. Right, pull him back again, pull I'll him back start. again. Ah, ah. Sit and down. loose lead, loose lead, good, that's it. So he's getting used to that. He wants to say hello. Sit down again and do sit. Down. sit. So, so just before okay. we start <clears throat> bringing him in the center, there he goes. Now he settles down. Oh, I sit him down again. Sit. Talk to him. Oscar, sit down. Sit. Oscar. See sit. how he's not looking sit. at you. So we're going to screw it. That's good. Making sit. a dog. This is good. Ah, right, pull him back. Pull him back. Sit. sit. Stay. This is good. Making, yeah. making a dog wait. Sit. <laughs> and then hey. as you keep trying to do it, it, it can get frustrating yeah. and a little bit confusing, can it? Yeah. 
I'm going to show you that. He's a perfect <laughs> And then see, when you go to discipline, he thinks that's play fighting just then. So we're going to break all that down. Wow, Making a dog wait is establishing yourself as the leader. Yeah. Now, we're going to start at the beginning. What does a mother dog do, or an adult dog do, when a puppy comes in really excited into their space, and, and then the mother dog or the adult dog doesn't want that? They'll snap. They'll snap. But before the snap, there's other signs saying, stay out of my space. Yeah. What, do you think the, what do you think of some of the signs before the snap? I think it's like they, they give them that eye contact. And Bingo. First thing the dog does is stiffen yeah. and, and gives that stare. What is its body language saying? Stay away. Stay away. Get out of my space. The puppy, like Oscar, is just young and goes, hasn't learned these signs yet. No. So he keeps coming forward, and what's the next sign the dog does? Well, he keeps coming forward, so and the, they, the, they just then snap at them. No, there's a couple the more signs no. that we're going to teach you. Pull Oscar, Oscar. back, sit him down again. Sit down. There's okay. a couple more signs. See how you went to Pat when he was little? That was good. <laughs> you went to Pat when he wasn't looking at you. However, you're starting to train your conscious yeah. and your subconscious. Yeah. And that's what we do. We don't train dogs, we train people. Yeah. Okay. So you're going good. Oscar. Pull it back again. Back. Sit down. Sit. So the other sign that happens is be between the, the, the eye stare and the stiffening and the snap that you said is the next sign after the stiffening is. Oh, yeah, the lip curl. The lip curl. Yeah. If the lip curl doesn't work, then what comes next? Sometimes when the dog snaps, the other pup thinks it's play. Yeah. So if that doesn't work, what comes next? Arr, they actually grab and start to arr, arr. Yeah. And what does the puppy do? Yeah, and as soon as that puppy submits, yeah. as soon as that puppy submits, what's the adult dog do? What's the mother dog do? Does it go, thank you very much, puppy? What's it do? Well, the, no, the, that's, the, that's a good question. The puppy submits. That's the behavior that the other dog wanted. Yeah. As soon as the puppy submits, it doesn't keep sticking into it because yeah. then it would be correcting when it should be rewarded. Yeah. So the, there was a clear correction and, and level of corrections from the lip curl mm -hmm. to the growl to the snap to the, to the yeah. arr. Yeah. Um, there's clear different levels. They're the corrections yeah. from one dog to another. What's the reward? This is just as important. Soon as that older dog gets the behavior that it wants, what does it do? It should just walk away then. Bingo! That's it! Yeah. That's it. It walks away. Mm -hmm. So as soon as it's submitting, the dog's walking away. So when I grab Oscar and I start to work with Oscar, mm -hmm. that's what's going to be happening. Yeah. As soon as I see Oscar's mind is way up here excited. Yeah. We don't want that excited mind coming in. Yeah. We want a calm, curious, balanced mind coming in. When he's excited, we're going to give him a little growl through some body language and some checks if we need to. Yeah. As soon as we get the submission, you're yeah. going to see me moving away. Yeah. All right. So Sit down. see how he, he sees that lead as a play thing. Yeah. Who do, you, who, does he, who do you think he sees you as? Does he, uh, does he see you as a pack leader? No. Especially not right now. No, he sees and here, here's, the, here's the question you can you're right. Here's the question you can ask yourselves. If your dog's ignoring you, who's the pack leader at that second? He has He or she is. If your dog's avoiding with you when you go and discipline or talk to your dog, if it's avoiding you, who's who's the pack leader? Uh, avoiding. Avoiding. Oh. You go to discipline them and they avoid you. Or you say, come here and they avoid you. Yeah, I guess they are. They are. They are. Yeah. And if you, a lot of people call me up, if your dog is protecting you, mm. who's the pack leader? You're walking your dog, it starts to, Oh, they are. They are. Did yeah. you ask for protection? No, we're going to yeah. talk about that later, guys, in another lesson. They are. And worse ah. yet, if your dog's challenging you, who's the pack leader? Yeah, they are. They are. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to show you today now, guys, no. is, is ah. dog training 101. 
We've developed a simple, easy drill that works for any mind, whether it's excited, uh, aggression, even nervous. We're just going to show you how to put your dog in a sit-stay, how to correct and how to reward. Yeah. So I'm going to grab Oscar for the first time, and I'm not going to, I'm just going to be like a normal person, and then I'm going to turn into teaching him. Yeah. Now the, here's the big thing people do from day one. So we talked about what the dogs do when an excited puppy comes in. It's hard to concentrate, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> we talked about when an excited puppy comes into a dog, a dog will discipline it. The mistake us humans make, us silly humans, is that we see that beautiful eight-week-old golden retriever puppy coming in. Yeah. We come down, we invite it to jump on us, we pet it. We're rewarding what? Dominance, where the puppy is learning to jump on people and we're teaching it that. Mm. And then it starts jumping on old ladies and kids and what have you. So when we first get a dog and meet a dog, I want the dog to introduce myself to the dog. I want to let it be curious and win my trust. Yeah. And then I want to gently lead it. But if a dog comes into my space and starts jumping on me, mm. I'm going to be another dog. I'm going to growl at it. Yeah. So he's a bit of a jumper, you were telling me? He is. So I'm going to take the dog, and you just sit and relax now. Okay, now I've just brought him over to me. The first thing I'm doing here, uh, stay there, is right now he isn't misbehaving that much. Is he paying, is he paying attention to me? No. Not really. He's starting to, yeah. he's, uh, see, I'm just, I'm just going to come down and see what he does here like this. He just, is he paying attention to me? No. no. So I keep pulling back like this. He just he just sees me as a play. Play toy. There it is. Yes. Okay. What did I just get then? I got I just got a verbal submission. He jumped on me and I just gave him a little yeah. That's my bite. Yeah. Now, have you seen him go from excited to a little bit nervous and scared? We don't want a scared dog, but we don't want an excited dog. We want a calm dog. Now when I pull like this, is he paying attention to me? No. Okay, this is what happened. You'll never see me pull a dog off its feet like that. When I go to give a correction when we first start, is I'm going to use a verbal, no, uh-uh, or I, and a physical. Yeah. He's even leaning on me a little bit here. So that's, yeah. so, that's dominance as well. Okay. He thinks everything's okay. play. Because this, whose space is this? This is my space. Mm. If I just met you and started leaning on you, what are you going to tell me to do? Yeah, my girl. Now, so I'm going to start working with him. I'm going to use the lead as a tool. You see, he's still, he, now that I've given the correction, he's, he's starting to get cheeky again, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. Starting to get cheeky again, aren't you? But he's thinking about, yeah. about it a bit more. So we're going to start working with him. See, good boy. Now, here's the, when, when did I give a good boy? When he looked at me. Yeah. That's how quick that window comes. He's not like, ah, see it? He sits, I'm going to go, good boy. He's not allowed to move now. I'm going to move back. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Head swing. Sweet head swings. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, sit. Sit. Good boy. So on the mother dog. Yeah. Okay. He's not allowed. Good boy. He's not allowed to move. Good boy. Watch the head swing. He wants to play. I'm not going to play with him. He's a full on pup. Good boy. I've got eye contact. Good boy. Good boy. He's thinking now. What's he thinking? Good boy. All your normal tricks aren't working, are they? Man? Ah, sit. So that's doing it a little bit without the lead, but I'm going to break that down even a little more. <coughs> so the first thing we're doing is putting him in a sit. He's, now, good boy. Ha! Ah, Why did I give him a correction? He's starting to play with that. He's starting to play with the lead. Yeah. Okay. First thing I'm teaching him is what? Loose lead. Ah, no playing with that. That's my bite. Yeah. Okay. And when I gave him a bite, I gave him a verbal because he's going to quickly associate the verbal with the physical because I want to eliminate the physical as quick as I can. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. Good boy. Good boy. Look. Oh, you're gorgeous. Ah, good boy. Now my energy is dropping because mm. his intensity is dropping. Yeah. Remember the mother dog and the difference between them? Ah to the scale. That's yeah. what we're doing. 
good boy. Now he's asking me to play. Yeah. I'm not going to play. If he asks me to play and I go to play, I'm playing on his terms. He's dominating the game. Yeah. I'm going to ask him to come to me so he's not saying, come, come, good boy. Sit, good boy. Now the first thing about this drill is a loose lead. He's not allowed to move off the sit. I want him to follow me with his eyes, not his bum. So when I go to the other side, you watch my hand work on the lead, it'll swap over. Head swings, good boy. But see how his head swung, but he lifted his bum. Yeah. So he did something good and something bad. See, see, good boy. Let him work a little quicker with him. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. I'm working way up the lead further away. Good boy. Thinks this is a game still. Good boy. Good boy, now he's in the zone. Good boy, ah, that doesn't mean you can move. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Why am I removing you? Good boy, there you go. See, what was just really interesting there, did you see how he started to move? Mm -hmm. And when he did, I started to move towards him and he did this. Yeah. That's a submissive gesture. Yeah. See? Good boy, so we're gonna go back to that. He still wants to play with that lead. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna, hey, good boy. So I gave him a verbal that time and he pulled out. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just dropping the lead because he wants to play with it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. What do you notice about my body language now when I'm walking around? Good boy. What is it? You just it's confident, but yeah. too. I'm not walking now. Stay. Yeah. yeah. Now I want you to stay. Yeah. Good boy. Now, good boy. So, who is he starting to see me as? The leader. The leader. So I'm going to call him to me and I'm going to put him in a sit stay. Come here. Oscar, come. Come here. Good boy. Sit. I'm going to repeat the drill. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You are gorgeous. So what we're starting to teach him is clear corrections and clear rewards. Yeah. He starts to move, ah, uh, as soon as we get the behavior we want, we move back. Yeah. So if he started to move now, I'm going to, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, as soon as he starts to submit, I move away. So I'm the mirror of his mind. Ah, uh, uh, like that, sit. Good boy. Good boy. You, you call this, ah, uh, sit. Good, good boy. Stay. <laughs> Notice how my energy went up. Yeah. As he's, he's a puppy, so I have to, He's an excited puppy. I have my energy is always just my assertiveness is just one step above his mm -hmm. intensity. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Now, good boy. You are so good. Good boy. This sit stay drill works for everything. There's a barking dog out there. You don't want to bark. Go to your bed. Sit stay. This is the building blocks of everything. Mm -hmm. This is also working on a recall. He's not allowed to move. I call that when he's not looking at me. Good boy. When he's not looking at me and I'm trying to get his attention, right there, this is really important too. I call that no man's land. Yeah. He's not doing anything good, but he's not doing anything bad. Mm -hmm. So he's either going to settle down now because he's not sure what to do, oh, or he's going to sit. 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 So I have to correct him. Yeah. But when he's in no man's land like that, I'd rather, good boy, I'd rather move around yeah. to get his attention to open a window for a reward, because we all work better on rewards than corrections. Yeah. We don't want to give a correction, but if he takes us down that path, unfortunately we have to do. Remember the mother dog and the puppy? They're only going to correct when he comes in too excited. Yeah. So what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to bring Oscar into each dog individually. Yeah. Watch how the puppy is more like Oscar. Yeah. Rama will be a little stiffer and he's, he's trying to be next pack leader yeah. and Lonnie, my number one, should quickly yeah. if he's too excited. Yeah. And Murph, I call him my grumpy old man. He'll definitely snap. He'll snap, <laughs> but he'll go the other way first. He's quickly to notice puppies and their excitement. Mm -hmm. And if he comes in and just snaps lightly, Oscar will think it's play. Yeah. Watch after a dog disciplines, if they have to, how they just go back to their way. Also, you're gonna you're gonna see how after Oscar gets disciplined, he'll stay a bit further away. Mm -hmm. Would he then go to say the one that wants to play? Eventually, he'll move away from that. Absolutely, he yeah. certainly will. He'll figure out who's at his his 
Yeah. His brain, yeah. same brain, brain length. Yeah. Um, so yes, he will. Um, and he'll slowly play with Murph, yeah. but Murph will play on his terms. Lonnie yeah. will play with Oscar as well, but all on their terms. Yeah. They're controlling the love. Yeah. So what we make the mistake is that we start to discipline our dog, then we go reward it with a pat. Before you know it, they turn that pat and that love around and they're play fighting again. Mm -hmm. So as soon as they turn that love around, up, get out of it, they submit, then we're back in it. We're going to cover a lot more of these little things in detail in the future. You are so good. Now I'm going to give little Oscar some love. You are so good. Oh, you are so good. Whose needs are these for now? <laughs> Mine. But when I'm giving him love now, what, what position is he in? He's, He's in a submissive position. I'm giving him love. But if he starts to play fight with me now, like this, see how he's starting to turn it around? Like that. Yeah. On the other dog. Yeah. Ah. Ah. That's what a dog's doing. When, they, when you see that dog fight. Even though a dog is laying on its back and it might look like it's submitting, if it's still pushing like that, the other dog's going to correct. Mm -hmm. You are gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Who's in trouble with love? See, as yeah. I'm giving him love, he'd be jumping on somebody of the kids or you by now, yeah, wouldn't he? Yeah. So he's, even though I'm coming down, and this is a neat thing, it's easy to be the pack leader and come down and be an equal, mm -hmm. and then go back and be a pack leader. But most people are being an equal with a dog and then trying to be a pack leader. Yeah, so yeah. put your parenting head on, it's the same way. Yeah. See, now I'm letting him dominate me a little bit. Yeah. So, you are gorgeous. But if I, if I growl at him, he's going to have to stop. Yeah. You are gorgeous. Okay. Ha! Ah! Um, so we can do a number of things. We can introduce him to my dog, or first what we're going to do is get you to do that six day drill. So, I'm just going to put him in the sit, 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 sit. I'm going to swap, he's not allowed to move. All right. Okay. All right, so. Reward when he's looking at you, right. correct when he moves. All right. He's all yours. Stay. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Ah. Keep walking. Stop. Good boy, I'll stop. Good boy. See how he wants to play yeah. with you, and you just ignore him. Good boy. Now what I want you to do is just sit down for a second. As soon as he starts to get up, you tell him, ah, good. Now he's looking at you. He's doing something good? Yeah. Like, good boy. Good boy. But, uh, but be careful. That good yeah, boy yeah. was almost too excited yeah, and you almost invited him. Get up and walk around again. He's looking at you. No, that's no man's uh, land. Yeah. No, no correction, no rewards. There good it is. Good boy, Oscar. Good boy. Not so excited. Okay. Good boy. Good like boy. you expect this. Good boy. That's better. You give it, it's all in the energy and what you're yeah. doing with your body. Good boy. Good boy. Move around again. Do again? Yeah. Good boy, Oscar. Now when he when he swings his head back, call good him to you, right there and put him in a sit. Or move a little further away from the dog. Yeah. Come around again until he looks at you and then call him to you and then put him in another sit stay. Right there. Good. Tell him sit, sit real down. quick. Sit. Oscar sit. One one thousand two. See how he's challenging you? Yeah. Bring the lead, bring him right to the middle. If you don't get him to sit really quick, yeah. every see he's starting to win. Sit, yeah. sit, 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 move away, drop the lead. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. How's that feel? Yeah, good. Yeah, and your body language looks good. So I just get you to sit down for a sec. Yeah. Good. I just picked a few things up early in it that you did wrong. As soon as you started, he was looking at you. Yeah, and I did. No, you actually corrected instead of rewarded. What? What I mean by that is he was looking at you, not moving, just, and you went, and I'm just sitting down here. Good boy. Ha! See? Okay, I'm just getting back in the zone. Huh? Good boy. Good boy. He's getting bored. Good boy. You were looking at him, and you went, ah, that's no man's hand. You went like, hey, sit! You could see he was getting ready to go, so. Good boy, good boy. He was looking at you like this, and you went. Okay. When he was looking for a reward, uh, okay. and you went like this, okay. and you said good boy, or you might have. Yeah. No, you so didn't. Wanted so be, so if, you, if you're if you standing like this, and you say good boy, what are you doing? I'm sort of correcting and rewarding, and rewarding at the same time. Yeah. So you're confusing. So make sure when you do it, it's. Good boy. Yeah. 
if he's starting to move, that hand comes out yeah. and yeah. stay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just at the very yeah. beginning, but after that was beautiful. You were gorgeous. So what I'm going to get you to do now is, is um, call Oscar to you. Put him in a sit stay there. Oscar, come. Come on, Oscar. Now if he doesn't come, jump up real quick and, and, and say come. come. And grab the lead. Come here, good boy. And take him yeah. back and have a seat there. Back in your chair. Fantastic. Okay. How are we going down. for time, Eric? Sit down. All right, don't want to. Oh, geez, geez. We're in 25 minutes. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick introduction with dogs yeah. and um, go from there. So when you bring your dogs in to say hello, first we want to bring them in so they're calm. Yeah. Okay. Poopsie wants to say hello. Just stay there for a sec. Yeah. Poopsie wants to say hello. Poopsie's pulling you in. Who's controlling the introductions? Lana, get back up there. So I'm going to bring Milu in first. So see how he's already getting excited. Look at your lead starting to get yeah. tight. Yeah. How's the lead got to be? Move your feet. Don't and move your feet. Just stand up next to him. Yeah. Now do that same drill again. See it. Good boy. Now walk. See this drill will work in the future. And loose lead and walk behind him if you can reach. Good boy. See how that? No, but hold on to the lead. Okay. Let's go see it. Sit down. Sit down. Now, just, now walk behind. Remember that drill? Walk behind him. Just like that. Just all the way. Just 180. We're going to cover that in a bit more detail later on. See how he's ignoring you? Uh -uh. Yeah. So. Sit down. Come up. Sit. I'm going to swap your dogs. Right. So you go and grab me. Yeah. Just pick, pick the lead and walk up with two feet there. Just there. Now, see Oscar's doing the same thing? No man slam. Almost got a check. Good boy. Good boy. Who's controlling the introductions now? Come a step closer. See? Good boy. No man slam. Good. See how he's so excited to come in and forgets who we are. Yeah. Now we're going to bring them in. When we bring them in, we bring them in. We either don't let them in when they're on lead, or when we let them in, we give them loose lead. Because where do they want to go? See how we settle down? Yeah. Where do they want to go? They want to go to the back side. Mm -hmm. So let's bring them in. Come on, Neil. And ask for loose lead now, completely loose lead. OK, see how they're going. I call this the lead dance. So as they walk, I walk around to the other side. Yeah. These guys are getting ready to see what's Oscar saying. I want to Ah, Merck back. See, they, the other dogs see the play. Yeah. Now, that's only you can let the lead go for now. Let it completely go. So what's he doing? What's the play? Yeah. Murph, get back. Murph, up. Murph, up. Come on. OK. So that's enough for now. Me too. Get in bed. Me too. Get in bed. Rama. Come here. Rama. Lots of different body language. Yeah. Lonnie, stay there. What do you notice about Oscar with Rama? Stay. Not as He's jumpy. more submissive. Now yeah. watch Lonnie coming in. What's the older dogs telling him? Yeah, give me my Lonnie, come here. Lonnie, come here. Now he's going to start jumping. He's getting more comfortable. What's, what do you think? Just good. Lonnie, there it is. First little nip. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What's Oscar doing? As soon as he settled down, what did, what, did, what did Lonnie do? Move away. Murph, you yeah. can come in now too. Murph, you want to come in? Up to you now. Come on, I don't want to come in. Yeah. Have to come in. So he doesn't have to come in. Look, as soon as, there it is. Yeah. Come back inside. Rama, get in your bed. Lonnie, you can stay here. I'm just going to let him run wall. Have a seat. We'll let, we'll let him run wall, see what he does. Come see you guys. Now they're free. I'm going to let them control the discipline. We yeah. only jump in if we have to. Yeah. What's it? See, see, see how he's, his first stall when they come in is what? See how he keeps bouncing back? Yeah. But he's great. So he's going to figure out who to play with and who not to. Yeah. So I don't, when I've got a dog like that, I'll let my dogs teach. They yeah. teach me. Yeah. We're just the referee. Yeah. You are so good. As soon as he's calm, and see, he's, he's calm. Tongue out, really, so. He's a bit. He's yeah. play, He's being submissive. Yeah. 
Look at Rama's tail. What does a high tail mean? Yeah, so she's happy and wants to play. No, I don't actually know. Okay. What's a tail in between the legs mean? Well, they're nervous. Nervous and scared? Yeah. What's a waggy tail mean? Happy. Happy? Yeah. What's a high, stiff, waggy oh, tail she, mean? Is she saying I'm dominant? I'm, the I'm confident? Yeah. I'm not going to back away from the con oh, okay. con confrontation. That's right. Good. Come here. Raman, come back up here. So we'll finish that off today, Leanne. Hopefully you picked up a few things from that. There's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah. And it's just turning your subconscious and your conscious. You know how you did that sit stay drill that was working great, but yeah. as soon as you bring in a dog excitement, it goes yeah. out the window because yeah. they're so focused. Yeah. So um, we'll leave it at that. Any now, don't forget, guys, to uh, go to our message board, put your questions on the message board because we're going to talk next week about what happened here. So if you've got any questions directly involved with what we just shown you, put it on our message board and we'll, again, talk about it. Thanks for coming, guys. I'm Chris Deavoides from Natural Balance Dog. And thank you, Leanne and no Oscar. Problem. She is. So pretty, pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Um, so now they're playing. It's and as soon as the play gets to... that one. Yeah, as soon as the play gets to, you see they're playing now. Yeah. You guys, you still rolling, Remco? Um, as they...